Hello, welcome to this week's video. I'm going to do a quick platter rim. No surprises there then. But first, we interrupt this program with a quick mention of Maker Central. What an absolutely fantastic weekend it was. Exhausting. You can't see it, but I'm still a week later, surrounded by all the bags and boxes that I brought back with me, packed with my tools and things. Um, I just haven't had time to unpack them since I got back. Now, I was very measured when I went to Maker Central. I only bought two things. A new um, fingernail profiling jig for my Sorby Pro Edge, which I'll be doing a little feature on in a later video. And... Uh, Just a little dust extractor. Luckily, with both of them, I got them at show prices, which was really good. And I also picked up one of these wonderful chestnut compatibility finishing charts. Um, going to make it easier to, to work out what I can put over the top of what. My lovely banner survived. Really pleased with this. And I was able to meet lots and lots and lots and lots of people, lots of faces to names. It was fantastic to meet so many of you. Um, I'm especially pleased to have met Tony, who is the first person who has said anything about the music on my jingle, which absolutely delighted my wife because it's the opening of one of her songs from a musical she wrote and uh, was in, in a performance um, in the Brighton Fringe last year. We seem to do a year on, a year off. So next year it's her turn to do a third musical. I don't think that's going to happen. While I was on the chestnut stand, or next to it anyway, I was demonstrating colouring techniques. Here's something a bit familiar from one of my very first videos. Just got to get a finish on that. And I also had another go at a lines and circles platter. Different colours this one. I had to do it from memory, but I quite like it being different colours. Variation on a theme. Could be my first product line. Um, got lots of stickers as well. This video, I'm just going to give a shout out to Tony Meadley Wood Turning. Check out the links below. Thanks for the stickers, Tony. Right, you probably want to get back to seeing the platter or shallow bowl being turned that I'm going to dab with acrylic paint. And um, actually, it's already been sold. Thank you very much to the very nice man who came and bought it this afternoon at the third weekend of my open house. I'll be there tomorrow if I get this video posted in time tonight. And uh, my platters and bowls will be there in the last weekend of May. But I'll be on a coach with 54, 13 year olds traveling to Italy overnight for 24 hours for the 22nd time. Now you know why turning keeps my feet on the ground. Right, some colour. I'm going to start off with some silver. I've put a little pea-sized dollop in this tray and a piece of kitchen roll that I've just rolled up loosely to make a little dabber to put the paint on. Now, I don't want big solid blotches. As you can see, I've just got a little bit. I'm just going to try that out across the edge very lightly. Because this is going to be a background piece. It's quite similar to another technique I've done. This is just to get something going on behind the main colour features. And I really am Treading old ground here. Hope you don't mind. Maybe I'll do something slightly different. 
than when I did this last time. And the next colour is pearl white. It's got a little too loose, let's roll it again. And again, this is just background. This is just putting the base down of what I'm going to put over the top, but just to give me some texture. I like using that word, don't I? Behind the colour. Okay, and can I use this bit of paper again? If I refold it, I can. Just clean out the silver from there and get my next colour. And on to aqua. Dry off. Right, now just going along, softening that up. I'm going to put just a little smidgen of titanium white in there. to ultramarine blue. Trying to be a little more sparing with this one. A little more circumspect. Oh, it's nice when I can get a big word in one of these videos. Back to my mixture of aqua and titanium white. Just a bit more aqua in the mix. Something just to bond these two areas together. And I think we're going to go back to the ultramarine. When should I get the red on it, I wonder? Just to put a bit of highlight back on, a bit of definition in some places, a little bit of pearl white again.
gulp. The lid doesn't want to come off. It's telling me, no, don't do it. Right, time to leave that. Clean out my little palettes so I can use them again another day. Oh, the blue's dried. Oh, the boring thing is I've got to wait for it to dry now before I do something else. Have I got any power, Paul? No, I don't have any purple. Nah. There's something not quite there for me yet. Maybe I put too much colour on. Maybe it was better when there was a bit more definition of the individual colours. Um, but I'm going to try one more thing on this before I let it dry and cut it back very lightly. I think I'm going to put some black on it. And where I particularly want to put black is this big blob of yellow. It's got a bit solid. I want to keep it, keep it a bit looser. Get that a bit looser so it's giving more of a pattern than a splodge. I think that's giving me something more interesting. But you might disagree. Leave a comment below as long as you like and share as well and give it a thumbs up. See, I'm getting more interesting pattern. Some, some of the the edges on the other piece of the cloth I was using had clogged together, and they were going on a bit too uniform. Going to need a bit more paint. Now I think, and I hope you can see in the picture quality of the video that that has actually, that pulls it all together in some way, unifies and combines the different shades of the blue and the, and the white. I think, I think it's an improvement. I've got to know when to stop though, haven't I? Right, that's going to be left to dry now. Tempted to put a little more yellow on, but I think, I think I'm going to resist. Yeah, I'm going to resist. I am, I will. <clears throat> yeah, put the paints away. Remove temptation. Time for some sealer. Ah. Now, putting on the sealer always helps to bring it to life, bringing the colors a bit more richness bit more vividness. Still not sure I couldn't have got away with some red on it. Right, going to give that 20 minutes or so to make sure it's properly dried off. 
still tacky. And then it's lacquer time. bit more shine on that lacquer this is not a super glossy glassy kind of looking platter rim so it's not taken as long to build up it's had three coats of chestnut gloss lacquer applied and here I just do one coat of burnishing cream and I'll finish the whole thing with micro crystalline wax So here we are, microcrystalline wax. As long as I can wait the 20 minutes for it to go off before I start buffing it. And I'm going to buff it with the drill, with a little mop inside the drill. I just want to work this into all of the inside of the bowl and then on the outside of the rim as well. Right, leave that 20 minutes to go off and then it's buffing time. Seem to have missed a little bit there. I do love the feel you get when that wax is buffed up. Lovely and smooth. Obviously there's a bit of texture on the rim. It's not flat and smooth in the way that colouring with spirit stains would have left it. Um, but there is a smoothness and a nice shine to, to the whole thing. Okay, and another one done. And in time for my open house on Saturday even though this video might not quite be ready by Saturday. Okay, um, I've enjoyed doing this one. I've had mixed feelings about it as it's gone along, but now it's finished, I mostly am happy and pleased with it. I... I'd like to try it with some different colours, actually. I wasn't quite foolhardy enough brave enough to put a bit of red on but it has a sort of sort of stone like quality to it even if the colors aren't entirely natural for stone i wasn't really sure what i was going for with this one was it going to be a seascape was it going to be something stone granite like um was it going to be something cosmic not sure what uh what it makes me think of most anyway but I can see that looking very attractive in someone's home. Right, the stills are flashing by. The house is beckoning. Brush all the sawdust off myself and get indoors for a cup of tea. Until next time, thanks for watching.